I'm, I'm doing some toe hooks because it's our uh, milking video. Ta -da! I'm getting down now. Oh, ow! <laughs> so welcome to another episode of YouTube. Um, this time, uh, this is part four of our footwork series. We're going to be learning all about toe hooks. Come with me. Okay, so toe hooks. I love toe hooks. I don't think they're as popular with every other climber, but I practice them a lot. And after you practice toe hooks a lot and you get really, really used to them, then they're really, really useful. But I think there's a few issues with learning how to toe hook really, really effectively. Number one is it doesn't come up that often. It's, um, it's quite an uncommon technique. And if it does come up, there's usually a way around it. And if there wasn't a way around it, usually people haven't practiced enough that they know how to do it, and so they just don't end up doing that climb. So generally, toe hooks are a bit awkward to practice. And I think the other reason that they're a bit under-practiced and not, uh, not as comfortable for a lot of climbers is that we use toe hooks a completely different way to the normal way that we use our feet when we're climbing. So let's go into detail about what I mean, what I mean by that, and then you'll know how to practice it as well. Okay, so reason that we might toe hook. Kind of similar to why we would heel hook. Often it's to maintain our balance while we're reaching out to the side. But I can't reach anywhere near as far off a heel hook as I can off a toe hook. So toe hooks are a really good way of still keeping yourself anchored to something, but being able to reach really far in the other direction. One of the reasons that I think they do feel a little bit weird to use is in every other circumstance when we use our feet when we're climbing, we're usually pulling the hold towards us and trying to bring our hips near it. So whether that's like rocking over onto a foothold or doing a drop knee or doing a heel hook, every single time I'm bringing my hips towards it, toe hook's the exact opposite. It's get your foot on and then get as far away from it as you can and that's how we get tension into it. So. I'm really, really lucky in that my arms are like the same length as my legs. So if I'm doing like toe hook to hand, it feels great to me because as soon as I get the toe hook in, there's already tension because I'm, I'm leaning away from it. Whereas if like a normal human, your arms aren't as long as your legs, getting a toe hook to hand might feel really hard because maybe you're trying to get it, but you're like, no, 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 it's not gonna stay. Maybe the thing to do then is place it and then just lean away and get some distance from it then it will start feeling like it's working. I usually think about one, letting go of the hold that I've most been using, but then also turning my chest and my hips away from the toe hook. Cool, pause the video very quickly. Quick word from our sponsors, we're going over to Omar. Go Omar. <laughs> hey guys, this video was brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community that lets you learn a new skill when you need to. If you're a freelancer and you're looking to get better at what you do, Go to Skillshare, they have thousands of courses that will help you get better. Also, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. My favorite course was the one by Sean Morton. She does a really good advanced breakdown of loads of techniques that are constantly needed to make YouTube videos. And one of my favorites is a time remapping one. I searched everywhere and it was really hard to find a tutorial but Skillshare had one and I was able to hone my skills and get better so you get better videos. Oh yeah! So if you're interested in doing the same as me, click the link in the description. A thousand people, one month free. Okay, back to the video. So Omar is gonna help me for this demo in demonstrating which is the strongest bit of the foot, which is where we should toe hook. Raise your foot, yeah, raise your foot off the floor. I'm gonna try and make it touch the floor. Yeah. Don't let me make it touch the floor, you ready? Yeah. Oh no, are you not ready? Okay, let's, Sweet, let's, let's try again, let's try again. Ready? Try really hard. Oh no man, that's no good at all. Okay, one more time. Ready? Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Whoa! Toe hook is really, really misleading because that makes it sound like you should toe hook with like your toes. A lot of the time when they do put toe rubber on the shoes, it also isn't that clear that the best place to toe hook is like way up by where the knot of your laces would be. So let's just look at that in action. <laughs> Not me standing on Omar's feet, but on the climbing wall. Hang on a sec. A lot of the time, if you're struggling to toe hook, it might simply be that you're not getting enough toe behind the wall. If I do that and try and lean away, yeah. Oh, I think I've got really, really strong ankles, but even for me, like that just, just bends and falls away. If I do exactly the same thing, but I go side on like that, or I turn the foot all the way in like that, that feels so secure. Like that's, that's not going anywhere. So tip number one was 
place the tow hook and then get as far away, sorry, that for midway through, it's not very helpful, as far away from it as you can to get tension into it. Tip number two though would be get as much foot behind there as you can. In fact, don't call them tow hooks anymore, call them foot hooks. Hmm. Go for, if you do end up having to use your toe, fine, but check how much behind behind the hold you can get first and then take the maximum. If Even if you're not actually using the rubber on your shoes, I think you're better off using like that strap or where your actual lace would be. Found this, uh, this tow hook running free in the wild. Let's, let's have a look. Step. Ooh. Oh, God. I need to do my push ups, I know. <laughs> hey, there we go. So, there's everything you need to know about tow hooks. My two main tips were place them and then get as much distance from them as you can. And the other one was just get as much foot behind them as you can. Yeah, we're going to call them foot hooks from now on. Um, aside from that, though, remember what I was saying at the start of the video that one of the difficulties in getting good at tow hooks is. They don't come up that often, and when they do, they can be quite avoidable. So, other tip that I'd give is just make yourself do as many tow hooks as you can while you're warming up on easy climbs. They won't involve any actual tow hooks, so you have to make them up and just, just tow hook random holds. But that's the way I practice them and refine them loads and loads and loads on easier climbs, so that when I got onto harder ones, I was already really well practiced and felt really, really comfortable with them. So, get started. Let us know if you've got any questions. Click like, subscribe, click the join button. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments what other tips videos would you like to see? And I'll see you next time. Bye team.